Welcome to week two of no self-care whatsoever. I'm kidding, but not really. Reminder, next week, I will not be posting a video for like really the first time ever that's not Christmas. <laughs> We're going on vacation. I've never done that before, so please don't make me feel bad. I also apologize that like maybe some of you are not super into this content and I'm sorry for that, but this has really, you know, consumed my life for the last couple weeks because she's not a, a rescue dog that we just brought home and, you know, is so excited to be adopted and is so, you know, having a good time. You know, she really struggles with just being inside with people things. So every hour is like, you know, a little opportunity to work with her, helping her get over her fearfulness because her fear Ears aren't, you know, a car or a sound. It's everything. I'm really grateful for you guys and your support and all of the comments that you've left me last week, which are all very helpful. And I'm not going to lie, that first week with her was, you know, some of the hardest stuff that I've done, especially with a dog. You know, we're already starting to see small little payoffs. And I think the next bunny update that I give you hopefully will be in a long period of time when you can see some serious growth, because I, I do want you guys to have that satisfaction as well of seeing her grow and evolve into a wonderful dog. But the reality is that she's only been here for a couple of weeks and that is not enough time, obviously, for her to feel okay in a people world or that she knows the other dogs in our pack. So, you know, their engagement with each other was limited that first week because she's scared to even exist in the house. So as she's getting more comfortable, more confident, she's beginning to interact with the dogs a little more. And that's what requires a lot of constant supervision because we're all home, you know, and it's going positively. But like I said, in my first video, safety is our number one job. We have to make sure that all of our dogs are safe, coexisting with each other. I wanted to give you this update because I have been filming this last week with her and we had really good days and really bad days. Sometimes it feels like you're making progress and other times it's, it's not. It's 10 steps backwards. The next time that I post a video like this, Hopefully you guys will get a big, you know, joyful payoff. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Last week's video definitely felt a little incomplete, but I wanted to show you how rewarding it can be just in the first couple of weeks. And yes, it's been hard. And yes, it has taken almost all of Julia and I's energy and, and time at the moment. You think you have a plan, but then when the dog gets here, your plan goes out the window and it's time to make a new plan. I needed the, the reassurance that this is working and this is helping and you know, this this is gonna be great. I hope to give you those moments as well too and uh, encourage those of you that have adopted animals and sometimes are feeling in that like, oh my God, what's going on? Am I helping you? I don't know. Am I helping you? So yeah, this is a, an update. And, uh, I will see you after we get back from vacation. What day is it? How many days have we had? Bunny. It's been an official week. We are working on some things with her. Like this morning, she didn't, you know, it takes like 10, 15 minutes for her to come out of her crate because she's just laying and that's okay. We can just let her take her time to get up. She's doing better with the stairs. She can go down the first landing by herself and then she needs a little encouragement to get down that second leg. I want to show you right now what Julian's doing. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, good look at me. Good look at me. Yes, yes. I'm taking a couple pieces of her kibble. Mm hmm and I'm, before I put her food in her bowl, I'm gonna just do this like five times. I get her to smell it and then I say, look at me. So she looks at me just to establish that that's a command. And then I feed her bunny. Bunny, Look at me. Good look at me. She's trying to like also make the connection that she knows that I'm putting her food down. We need to get her that second crate to see if she would like it because she likes her first one. Look at me. Good girl, good look at me. We moved her bed. Yes. There's no bed in there because we moved that into the game room, but we'll probably get another bed in there and see if she likes it. So far she just likes her upstairs crate. Look at me. Yes, good look at me. <laughs> Cereal. Yeah, we've been mixing her food with some water because she's a little fearful of drinking her water and it can be hard to get her to like hydrate herself sometimes because when you're scared of everything, going in there and drinking water is also scary. The Iggy's are outside so that she didn't have to have an audience for right this minute. So what we're working on with Bunny is obviously basic training and some days like yesterday, 
she just was not interested. She's not interested in treats. She's not interested in any of that. And that's okay. It's a little frustrating, obviously, because you want to work on that bond. You want to build that trust. You want her to respond to you. It's overall good for her to have that relationship with you. But the reality is some days she's just not ready for it. And uh, yesterday she spent a long time like just laying outside on the chair and just didn't want any treats. She didn't want anything. Sorry, Julian was on the phone. Julian has to take her, give Bunny her hookworm medication. She just mm -hmm. ate it so soft. Mm -hmm. So like gentle. Is it good? That's very good. Good girl. More hookworm medication, please. <laughs> you like full pockets? But yeah, so uh, we've been trying to work on basic training because she has shown signs of resource guarding, which I've read is very common in rescue dogs, and it makes a lot of sense if you think about it. Right now, she only does it with toys and only inside. Resource guarding is a dog's resource, so their food, their bed, their toy, you know, whatever they have decided is theirs, they will now defend, growl, bark at anyone that's trying to take it away from them. She growls, like open mouth growls, like angry at both of us. And the way that we respond is don't punish the growl and then do a thing called trading up where you take a high reward treat, something smelly, something really she really wants, and you distract her away from that toy. And that's how you teach drop it. And we're working on that. Obviously that takes a long time because when she takes the high reward treat, she goes back to her toy and then she's back to guarding it. So I will show you us doing that because she's a rescue dog. It's probably the first time that she's ever had a toy that's hers and I'm so excited and I don't know you, don't take that away from me. You know, she doesn't have that complete level of trust with us yet that I don't wanna steal your toy. I wanna play with you. I wanna have a good time with you, but she doesn't know that. She doesn't fully know us or trust us. So of course it's like, I don't believe you. You're gonna take that toy away from me. I just got it. I want it, it's mine. <laughs> So some of it does seem scary. And the good news is that she's not doing it with her bed and she's not doing it with her food. So why I wanted to show you what Julian was doing was that's how you teach, look at me. So before ah! Marble. Hey, hey, Marble. All right, that's okay. One bark if she's in your space and then no more after. Julian was hand feeding her before he feeds her. She already has good behavior with eating. If anything, you know, she's very skittish while she's eating and drinking. By doing that, you know, she knows that the food's coming from Julian's hand and so that any resource guarding isn't also extending into her food and then using a technique called counter conditioning with her bed. She's very good with her bed. You know, she did growl at Kermit one time when he jumped in there and, and sat right with her and that was invading her space. Greyhounds sometimes, like if they're sleeping, they can have sleep aggression when they wake up. That's when like their first instinct is to turn around and like nip or snap or bite because it's, you know, it's scary. She hasn't really shown any signs of that, but we do want to reward her good behavior and make sure that she doesn't start resource guarding her bed as well. Counter conditioning is basically, I think a dog's favorite type of training. I get rewarded for absolutely no reaction. So if you walk by her bed, you know where I don't think we're trying to train her to have the other dogs in her bed or us in her bed or anything like that. But like if you walk by her bed and she's just sitting there, here's a treat for that, you know? Right now she's she distinguishes what is a toy because she's not super brave in the house. Like right now she's walking around, she's exploring, she gets more curious every day. But what I don't want is I don't want her to decide that a shoe now is a toy. She grabs it and then one of the dogs walks by her and she perceives that as them, you know, trying to take her toy and then she is that way towards one of them. Hello. It's hard, you know, it's hard to have your dog growl at you. And my soft, sappy, weak heart sometimes just cries about it, you know, even though that's not gonna fucking help anybody. But that's the truth is that sometimes I cry because it just like, it hurts my heart and I'm just sad for her and I wish she didn't have to feel like that, but that it's worth working on. She just walked up the stairs. <laughs> getting babe but she's doing it look she's walking around the house yeah every day she's more curious every sure. day she walks around like a little bit farther you really just want to play with peachy huh need hookworm medication please give me a <laughs> pocket with hookworm medication excuse me miss did i just catch you in the pool what the hell hey bunny look at me yes good girl okay I have to occasionally also feed the audience. Yes! Good girl! This is her spot where she likes to sometimes dig and sit. Look at me! Yes! 
Sally Miller doesn't seem like much, but that is progress. That's wonderful progress. You have made backwards progress. So we're gonna do a good long walk and then we'll do some more training later. So dogs are tired. We have Bunny muzzled because we are, we've are we worked on some Bunny cum in the front yard. That's where she feels most comfortable. Like uh, We still struggle in the house with her following any kind of commands. Like when we're trying to get up and go for a walk, it usually entails a little bit of coercion. <laughs> but we have her muzzled because we are going to work with all of the dogs together with treats and Bunny cum and then uh, while well, she's still pretty tired and like not completely, you know, bored of treats, we're gonna work on a little bit of the resource guarding with the muzzle on, which in the past I've only done without the muzzle, but I'm interested to see what she would do with the muzzle on. So we're gonna do that. Bunny, come. Yes, bunny, good bunny. Wow, <laughs> that's such a good girl, yeah. Bunny, come. Thank you. Bunny, come! <gasps> yes, Bunny! Good girl! Come! Yes! 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 Good girl! Yes! Yes! Good girl! Good girl! Yes! Good girl! Yes! Good come! Oh no, it's lost in the grass. Oh, God. Wow. Amazing. And that's how you know we're done training for right this second. She's so tired. She's such a loaf. You loafy girl, huh? So we have her muzzled. We don't usually have her muzzled for this, but I do. I want to see what she does. So I have a toy, and I'm going to start. I have shoes on. I'm going to start stepping on the toy. And if she shows interest, it's my toy. I'm sort of claiming the toy and then saying, okay, she can have it. I'm gonna let her have it for a second because it usually excites her a lot. She really likes the toy. And I'm not gonna do the trade up right away, but I do have pill pockets that I will try and trade up for her. And in my experience with this, usually she does tire out from the toy and then loses interest. And that's when I can regain control over the toy. But I wanna see what she does with the muzzle on. I have a toy. Yes. Okay, can have it. Yes, okay. Oh, she got it. Oh, here she goes. So, she had no reaction with the muzzle on. The dogs are very upset because they're in the game room. Okay. Okay. Yes, good girl. Okay. I'm gonna let her have it for a second. I don't wanna take it away from her right away. That's just mean. Can I have the toy? Yes! Oh, that's so much better! Hey, that's a big improvement! You weren't letting me do that! Yes! Yes! Okay. Now I'm gonna take the toy. My toy. <clears throat> this is also how you teach drop it, but I think what's important is that, you know, the first few days or week that she was here, that was the time for her where she would really growl and like really be like, this is mine. Yes! Um, so that's already an improvement. She doesn't do this outside where she feels like relaxed, you know? So I think it just has to do with her lack of trusting us or knowing us. Like she thinks I'm gonna take it from her forever. Okay, have the toy, yes, have it. Go, yes, good girl. Yes, yes, bunny. But it's also important to not reach in right away until this is something we're comfortable with, yeah. you know? Bunny. Bunny, drop it. <gasps> yes, good. That's such a good girl. Okay, I'm gonna take the toy. Yes, oh I'm so proud of you. She's doing so well. Yes, Bunny. Watch me. Yes. I can't even tell you, like, we didn't film, obviously, because we were just figuring out that this was an issue. And it's just with toys, it's not with food or her bed. And you know, we're doing our best to prevent those situations from arising. But this is like really, really good improvement. Okay. And then she sort of like loses interest in it. 
When she goes back to her yeah, room. I'm gonna see if I can take it. Can I have it? Oh, yes, bunny! Good, wonderful girl. Wonderful girl. This is night and day. She's gotten so much better. I'm gonna pick up this toy. My toy. Yes! Thank you, I love to share with you. I mean, I'm like a little beside myself, you know? That was a source of a lot of our stress yeah. and a lot of, you know, heartache. Careful with the noises. <laughs> I was really, really stressed about escalating resource guarding, but I think a lot of it just boils down to trust and less of, you know, the toy or the food or the bed. Yeah and that she knows that I'm not trying to get it from her or that the food comes from your hand. Yeah, I think, well, also, I think she's put that together a little yeah. bit with what we did with breakfast. So I think just continuing to do this is really helpful. I like pill pockets. Mush duck pill pockets. She loves the mic. The Bunny. Bunny, watch me. Yes! <laughs> Bunny, watch me. Yes! Oh, good! Yes, go watch me! That growling, that anger, that like, this is mine was like such a big concern for me. And it's not that this means that it's gone or, you know, it won't be different with the dogs. It's something that we have to keep working on. But like, I cannot tell you how much of an improvement that was versus the other times we have done this. It wasn't a single growl. Yeah, and I mean, it helps that she's tired. Obviously, everything is better when your dog has had exercise and they're at like a good energy level, but this is like so wonderful. Watch me, yes! Uh, yeah, you wanna go out and lounge? You wanna go lounge, baby? Okay, I'm gonna put this toy away right because here. toys are for supervised time right now. Where did you just go? Hi. I know you say, I know how to walk up one flight of stairs now, so I go up here. Do you wanna go outside on your pool chair, Ooh, baby? Yeah, you love outside. Come on, oh look, Julian, right look. Up. Right Keep Come going. on, we can do it. Come yes. On. You wanna go outside? Yes. Yes. Good girl. Good girl, buddy. Yes. 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 Y
<laughs> like the saying about greyhounds is zero to 45 miles an hour in three steps. In three right? strides, yeah. Yeah, so she's like, she comes at you hard. Yeah. Dude. We can do some more tomorrow. We'll do some more tomorrow. Such good confidence. Look at him. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, buddy. Yes. Look at yes. you. Yes. Yes, buddy. Yes. Yes. Good girl. Yes. You can do it. Good girl. What's that? Get that Toshi up the stairs. Yeah! <laughs> yes, buddy. Good girl. Oh, there she goes. You had such a good day today, buddy. Buddy, you had such a good day. Such a good day, baby. I love I'll you so much, you. baby. I love you. I'll see you in the morning. But that was like the first time I've seen her wag her tail. And play. There and like run around. no feeling in the world. You're just like Peachy. They're only a year apart. Bunny bunny. Someone's very excited this morning. She's going down the stairs. And she's also... <laughs> she was so excited to come down the stairs. Bunny, good morning. Oh, okay. All right. I know it's kind of loud, kind of scary. But we're going to get you some breakfast, okay? What you just saw was Bunny getting excited to get up. She got some little barks, some little run outside, went pee, and then she heard like a garbage truck outside. I think our, one of our neighbors is doing renovations on their house. So this is, you know, one step forward, one step backwards, and that's okay. We just have to figure out, you know, if we're gonna bring her food up here or what to do, but she heard the loud noise and she just ran straight back up to her crate instead of her living room bed. But you know, it makes her feel safe in here. So I can't blame her. We're not gonna force her, drag her out of here, but I do want her to eat. And you know, I wish she would get up so we could go for a walk and get some energy out and maybe do a little training. But this is, you know, the reality of today. You know, we had a really, really good day yesterday, but the reality is she wants to do this right now. It's sad. That's okay. I love you, Miss Bunny. I feel safe and great. Julia said she took her food? As far as I know, you never want to reach into a dog's crate or like try and get them out. Like that's her safe spot. Let her always feel safe in there. So Julian was hand feeding her some treats and then he brought her up her food and her water and she just came out. So I guess we'll see what happens. The good news about having a rescue dog when you have other dogs is in a very self-serving way. I would love to love her and feel love, but sometimes that's not, she's not ready for that and she wants to sit in her crate. So I can come downstairs and give you love. Yeah. I need to be rescued, rescue me, rescue me. I'll show you a game that I've been playing with Kermie. Whenever Kermit is sad and crying, we play rescue. Okay, where is he? Oh, is he underwater? Is it an underwater rescue? There he is, he's at the bottom of the ocean. Oh my goodness, okay, I'm gonna swim down. I got my scuba gear. I'm ready to go underwater. Oh, I'm gonna dive down, I'm diving deep. Where's Kermit? There he is, okay, we're gonna swim to the surface. Oh my goodness, I have him. We're gonna take him to the chamber to make sure we didn't come to the surface too quickly. We gotta do some tests. Oh, how are his vitals? Are they okay? Is he okay? He's rescued, we rescued him. Do you like rescue? Ooh, okay, maybe next time we'll do uh, you're in the desert rescue, you know? Rescue, what do you think? Good rescue. All right, we'll play rescue later, okay, Kirby? That was rescue, thank you. Hi, bunny girl. Wow, good morning, yes! All right, we were able to get out for a little walk. She has been getting very brave and trying to get up on the couch because she sees that's where the other dogs are. Bunny, off, off. Bunny, off. I know. Maybe someday, baby, okay? Just not right now, I know. Okay. See how she's sitting like a little sphinx? Yeah. <laughs> what is this body about? <laughs> that is a chicken. That, that's how greyhounds sit. That is a chicken. Chicken body. Chicken body. <gasps> oh, zoomies.
this one. Not to be invasive, but someone just pooped. This is curious. Just like Kermit yes. and Peach, to be expected. After they poop, they get the zombies. It is very late Saturday night. We streamed. Bunny got many bathroom breaks, but she got the zoomies now for the second night in a row. But I do want to share. So tonight on stream, we had to order dinner. So we ordered some cheeseburgers, but they're not meat, obviously. So it's not even meat. And she like, she doesn't know the word no, nor does she know that food that we're eating isn't hers. So when a big dog is excited, that food is here. There's almost really nothing you can do until we work on this. But she was, she's like totally fine. You know, she walks up to you and she like wants to smell it. She's really excited. We're saying like, no, not for you. And she got frustrated. So just started barking at us. <laughs> It's like the most endearing thing in the world. Like you really threw like a full blown tantrum because you couldn't have burgers, yeah. huh? It's just so funny. It's like having a puppy, but she's huge. She's huge and she was being so sweet. Well, now you know like some high value currency to her burgers. is something that smells like a burger. It feels like we give her all the love and care and you're not getting any of it back, but she like knows that you're there and you're working hard and she gives it back when she can. And it feels really fun and special. Good brush teeth. Oh, good girl. Yes. Good job. Yes, bunny. Want to kiss her, babe? We just take off her um, ID collar because it has tags on it. So you never want it to get. Good lord. You never want it to get stuck like in the crate. So that's just a safety precaution. Good night, sweetheart. I love you. See you in the morning. So the last thing I wanted to update you on is that Bunny sleeps in her crate with a sheet over it. It's so like, doesn't get too hot in there for her. But because that sheet is on top of it, we are able to watch TV in our bedroom. It does not bother her. She does not. It's not the sounds that bother her. It's the visuals. So she can't fully see the TV and it doesn't bother her. We haven't really fully desensitize her to the TV, but we can watch TV in bed. It's a nice little loophole we got going. Good night, bunny, I love you. We had a good morning. She did only a little bit of lazing around in her crate before she got up. She's wearing her muzzle right now because we are just sitting in the living room, it's Sunday, and just like relaxing, hanging out, and she's starting to show like that she really wants to get up on the couch. And that, you know, may come down the line, but what she can do is walk up to the couch with her, you know, giant giraffe neck and get right in their faces and be like, can I come sit here? And so what happened was she was unmuzzled and Marbles did not like that. And so he got right up in her face and they were face to face and he just got in her face and barked and was like, get out of here. And she respected that and sort of like backed up and was like, oh my God. But you know, moments like that are scary. So I know that some greyhounds like to nip when they're like playing or chasing, you know, side by side, like Peach and Kermit nip at each other a little bit, but not really. Okay. I know it needs to be about you, but we put a muzzle on, you know, for precaution. You know, she starts getting a little braver and braver and keeps putting her face in their space. You know, we don't know exactly how she'll react, but I'm very proud of her for respecting marbles. So what we're going to do today is go for a walk and we have two walks. And I think it's important that if you're rescuing a dog, that's fearful or timid, something that's been helpful to me is to have two walks. Okay, I give you a hug. I rescue you too. Oh, needs to be rescued. One walk is the park 
it's very stimulating she's a sight hound i think she likes that you know there's a lot of things to see that's also though where people tend to have their dogs off leash for some reason because they think that the rules don't apply to them uh there's a lot of soccer baseball a lot of sports so on the weekends it's very busy and rowdy sometimes i think it's like doable and fine but like for example the weekend that we got her there was a full-blown like pop-up carnival with like roller coasters and ferris wheels and you know people throwing darts at balloons like that's not helpful you know what I mean? Like, I want to desensitize my dog to the world. Do I think she needs to be desensitized to a roller coaster five feet away from her at the moment? Probably not. So on the weekends, we've been going to a bike path, which was really helpful. So I think we're going to do that walk today. And depending on the time of day and when she gets up, you know, it'd be easier for us to have a walk routine, you know, like X, Y, and Z day, we go to the park and other days we'll go to the bike path. But it's very dependent on when she's ready and willing to go for a walk. And also, uh, you know, Los Angeles gets pretty hot. So if she's in her crate, lazing around, you know, taking her time getting her breakfast and taking her time getting out of the house and all of a sudden it gets too hot, you know, we might have to wait to go to one or the other. So depending on when she is ready to go and what she's feeling like that day, uh, we'll decide which walk we go to. But she's doing really good. She's back in her spot. That's what you deserve. You're at the resort, you know? She doesn't mind helicopters, which is good. It's my girl, yes! But that's something that's helped me, is having a stimulating walk and then a more calm walk, you know, so she can have moments of real confidence and like feel like I got this walk. And then, you know, the next day we can go to the walk where, you know, she might be timid a few times and work through that, but she gets better every day. We're gonna go to the bike path, baby girl. We're gonna have to get you up. So lazy. It is Tuesday. Watch me. Yes, good. She's, there's construction. Yes. They're like renovating her house nearby, so. Do Bunny come? Yeah. I'll show you her progress. Honey, come! Honey, come! Yes! 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 Come, 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 come! Honey, come! Yes! Good girl! So many noises, huh? Honey, come! Honey, come! Yes! Yes, buddy! Yes, that's a good girl! Yes, it's good! Honey, come! Yes! Good girl! Wow, she's such a big horsey. Bunny, come! Yes! Good girl! Wow, she's so fast. Bunny, come! Yes! Good girl! It's a good girl. Bunny, yes! Yes! Good girl! Yes! Good girl. <laughs> That's probably good for now. Okay, I didn't call you enough. <laughs> I've been trying to get her to like run little mini sprints on the walk with we me. We can't get her to run during the day. Yeah. We can't, we can't get any zoomies during the day. Well, we can't get her to zoom in the yard unless it's in the middle of the night. <laughs> so I figured like on the walk while she's leashed and she's with me, she's down to run. And so today I tried to really like air it out and I'm in an all out sprint. <laughs> I'm like, in, I'm, this is the fastest I could run. And she's just. That's a progress. I know it doesn't seem like much, but it is to us, right? We're doing our best. We had to bring a water dish out here so she'd stop trying to drink out of the pond. Yes, good girl. Okay, you ready? One side. She's doing so much better. She's walking around. She got good tail posture. Yeah. This is one of the biggest differences that she chooses to come into the house on her own and just chose it over outside time just now. It's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, see, it's not that bad in here, huh? Finally, some success with the new bed. After a little bit of protest, she decided that she wanted to sit in her bed. How do you like that? You haven't shown any resource guarding with furniture or food, and I'm very proud of you, baby. I want you to be comfortable and have your own space. I'm really proud of her for hearing that noise and not being terrified back here. <coughs> yeah, it's because you have your spot, huh? And your mom and dad. And you're not standing. Good girl. What happened? She just gave me a kiss. No way. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> no, no, no! I gave you one in private. <laughs> <laughs> it's like trying to kiss Peach. It's exactly like trying to kiss Peach. Please. Oh. <laughs> 
I think you just smelled my mouth. Look at this sweet girl. Like, ugh, she is just so sweet. So that's it. I know this doesn't smell like a lot. Hi, Peachy. But this, just her being curious and walking around, being comfortable in the house, is an enormous improvement for us. Huh, baby? So that's it. That is our two-week bunny update. She's doing really great. And you're going to go spend a little time with your foster brothers, but then we're going to be right back. Okay, baby? And we can keep going. And then hopefully the next time that you see her will be a nice big improvement. <laughs> oh, she really likes the way that you smell right now. Bye. Watch me. Yes. Good girl. Oh, Kermit. Need to be rescued. So, again, like I said, not going to be posting next week. Uh, we're going to be on vacation. So, Bunny, you're also going to be on a little bit of a vacation. Because this is a lot of work, huh? A lot of new stuff. Pretty tired. Maybe you're just going to take a little time to go rest and relax, huh, baby? I'll see you guys in two weeks. We love you. Good yawn. <laughs> See this? This is like such yes, a good body yes, language. Yes, bunny. Yes, grandma. Parents are going on vacation. Mad, angry, do not go, stay forever. <laughs> Bye, Kermit. Going on vacation. I love you. Anger, 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 resentment. <laughs>